Every athlete knows that if they take their first shot in the game and they score, that they're likely going to be in the zone for the rest of the time. Except you can't really control that outcome, but what you can control is your morning routine and making sure that you start off right. So for me, I wake up, I do yoga, I stretch, I meditate, I do a morning cocktail, which consists of mineral water, lemons, and Himalayan salt, and I make a really hearty breakfast. I know that if I jumpstart my day in the right fashion, I'm more likely to have a productive day, which helps me get to my goals. Hi, and welcome back to day 10, the final day of this rehab pack. So hopefully over the last 10 days, you've started to get a, a better sense of how you can approach rehab in a very positive way. So knowing that there's nothing we can do about the situation, of course, there are some practical steps we can take, but beyond that, it's letting nature take its course. And we can help nature take its course, or we can hinder it. We can hinder it by getting caught up in lots of unnecessary, unproductive thinking, which only fuels negative emotion, which really just creates a downward spiral in not only our emotional well-being, but also in, our, in the body itself. My nutrition is pretty specific based on recommendations that I've received from my nutritionist. So it really comes down to what we call macronutrients. So there are three things. It's your proteins, your saturated fats, and your carbohydrates. And based on blood work that we did, what my body prefers to consume, proteins are eggs, chicken, salmon. So in the mornings I do eggs. Saturated fats come from bacon, coconut oil, nuts. So I get the coconut oil in here, I'll have bacon. And then the carbohydrates, my favorite, are sweet potatoes. While my morning routine is what we're seeing right now, you can't stop your nutrition throughout the day. A lot of us get bogged down with work or other responsibilities when we actually forget to eat. Where for me, I want to try to eat five times a day. So I'm making sure that I'm hydrating throughout the day. I start by hydrating with water. My travel schedule between games, MLL, especially during international competition year with the World Games coming up. It gets really hectic. The businesses that we operate require me to be in different places, juggling opportunities, juggling operations. Coaches often tell us this at a very young age is, only control what you can control. Nutrition to me has always resonated there. This is something that I am physically and mentally choosing to do right. There are things that happen throughout the day that are out of my control, out of your control. My recommendation to you is have your own morning routine and make sure you stick to it consistently. It's going to help you when the waters get really choppy, but it'll put you in a position to succeed. I'm pretty excited right now. I think there are a lot of nerves and different emotions that are building up with the World Games coming up in a week. There's a lot that I don't know. Once the competition starts, we have Canada, Iroquois, Australia are the regular dogs in the race. And, uh, and they're each better and better with every subsequent World Games. And they get more and more difficult to win. We're able to accomplish a lot of work to start the week in New York. We're back in Baltimore. Now my focus is on Team USA exclusively. So from nutrition to training, I'll be with Jay Dyer for two days this week. I'm gonna visit with some family, visit with some friends. I'm gonna make sure my mind's right, my body's right for that flight to Israel.